E3 week is just around the corner, so get ready for some big Xbox Game Pass announcements. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I think we really need to talk about Xbox Game Pass, because I've seen quite a lot of people complaining about this service lately. And I don't really blame people for that, because there hasn't been really any major announcements or may any major big games added to the service. Uh, yes, they keep adding games all the time, but we're talking about like smaller uh, AA games. Uh, some of them are still day one, so that's great value still, like Planet of Lana, for example, or Redfall, but yeah, Redfall wasn't actually that good of a game really, but Ravenlock, for example, but still, except Redfall, which kind of flopped, let's face it, um, most of these games are smaller titles, right? Uh, there's a bunch of new Shadow Run games, um, Fuga, I mean, some of, the, some of these games I don't even know really, but you know, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, right? And don't get me wrong, I know that there's audience for these type of games too, right? Then these type of games are needed in the service too, but there hasn't been anything that would excite people about Game Pass lately, if you know what I mean. So, but hey, that's the thing. That happens every year, right? Around May, June time before E3. And I know that E3 is no more, right? I mean, they officially cancelled. But, you know, all these companies, you know, along with uh, Xbox, th they keep uh, making these shows. And every year, Microsoft is a bit quiet in May, beginning of June, when it comes to Game Pass, because they getting ready for E3. And it's not about getting ready per se, like being busy, but it's more about saving some of these announcements for E3. And that makes sense, right? And and, and don't get me wrong, it's not even about announcements of, the, you know, the type of announcement like first party games coming to Game Pass. I mean, that's obvious, right? We know that every single game that um, Xbox uh, publishes uh, ends up in Game Pass day one, right? So that's nothing new. But what I'm always getting excited about too, when it comes to this, these E3 shows, um, are all the Xbox Game Pass announcements, new games that we kind of didn't know about uh, that are coming to um, to the service. And it's not always about you know getting the get games day one. Sometimes the we're talking about like older titles that you know were released like a, a, a couple of months earlier um, and stuff. Uh, so that's fine. Like I remember one show where uh, Square Enix, uh, you know, actually, you know, announced that they are adding pretty much all fun Final Fantasy games to Game Pass. Right? That was a huge announcement. Like especially that we're talking about Japanese studios and Japanese games being added to Game Pass. Same like two or three years ago, they announced like the whole Yakuza series being added to Game Pass. Like not not like. At the same time, right? But gradually, they they kept uh, adding these games, and you know, basically all games were available um, uh, in Game Pass via Game Pass at some point. I still think that most of these these games are in Game Pass if you want to play them. So these type of announcements, right? And there's always something um, and new and fresh and big and known, if you know what I mean. So that's why I always love these shows too because it's I get it like everyone is waiting for these big uh, first party announcements and same with me right don't get me wrong I'm really looking forward to uh, see what um, Xbox is cooking up there right like and what they are planning to release within next uh, year or two for example right but you know that th that's cool but I'm always keen on more games in Game Pass right and you know because the thing is, like, the more variety, the more games is being added, then there's, like, I don't play all games, obviously. You know, there's certain genres and certain IPs I love. And if they, if these type of games end up in Game Pass, that's even better for me. That's better for everyone, I guess. 
So yeah, I'm really looking forward to some announcements, like you know, third party um, announcements, uh, maybe some games they want. Who knows? You know, like if you look at Game Pass, um, a lot of you know, for example, we know that uh, Lies of P is coming to Game Pass in August, right? So that type of announcement. So Lies of P were was actually announced coming to Game Pass at last year E3 too. So it's not even about games coming to Game Pass like we like in June, but also Xbox uh, games coming to Xbox Game Pass in like this year or early next year, right? I mean that that type of announcements too and uh, looks like Microsoft is actually having quite a lot of good um they actually doing a good job adding a lot of uh, AA first double a games day one to game pass so i'll i'll tell you straight away games like atomic heart uh we were long or uh, lies of p right i mean all these games these were i mean plague's tale i well, i mean plague's tale is i would say somewhere between double a and triple a kind of production right um well they are pretty close to triple a i would say but you know you know you get my point right i mean we usually get a lot of these type of announcements at e3 so i think that obviously on top of all the uh, first party content that microsoft is planning to show during this uh, showcase and starfield and forza and stuff right um i always ve i'm always looking forward to these game pass announcements of third party multi-platform games a lot of times but coming to game pass and a lot of them day one right i mean usually when you know there's always always a summary um, that xbox usually do as uh, which looks like oh we announced like 50 games today and 40 of these games are coming to game pass day one right they love to share that kind of information and usually that's the case a lot of these games that they've got marketing for or some kind of deal i mean they end up in game pass sooner or later anyway right so you know and i'm really looking forward to this year's show as well not only because of all the first party announcement they will probably have uh, next week but also these smaller announcements too and i love them and like listen i still like games like plague tale right i mean atomic heart or some other games that i played um in the last couple of years via game pass like it's it's great it's, it's just great so listen guys so that's why we are not hearing much from um game pass team uh, really when it comes to big announcements and stuff we just keep adding they just keep adding these smaller titles and that's fine um i like playing them too um so yeah i for example i really actually enjoy ravenlock it's a you know neat little game and uh, i still have to play planet of lana i've heard good stuff about that game but i first need to finish some other games uh, so anyway so that's the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one take care